John from the good old 804 and Mark behind the boxes. We are about to unbox some swords from Cloudhammer Steelworks. We have some really cool swords here. Do you guys shipping for the Walking Dead sword? Yes, we do. Hey, Lauren. We ship everything. We ship everything. By the way, Scott Toichi, if you, any answer he has is most likely correct, um, unless it's about football in which he is most likely wrong because he's an Eagles fan. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so here we are. We are going to unbox a few more people. Come on, if you can do us a favor and tap that screen really rapidly as if, okay, we're not going to say what you're doing when you're tapping quickly, but yeah, sure. Uh, but anyway, give us some likes and we really appreciate it. Planning to buy a Sakabato and Afro Samurai. Can you recommend three more 200 plus swords? Fellow, yeah, we three can. Three more? Oh. Do you want anime right? swords or what do you, what do you want? Yeah, what, what are you looking for? It depends on what you want, but Mortitaka Vortex and any of the uh, Dragon King as well. Yeah, Dragon Kings, Mortitaka Cloud Hammers, all of them are in the 200 plus range. Fellow, send me a message and I can give you more guidance than what I can over here. Hello, Angelo. Hello, Chunky Monkey over here on YouTube. We are about to unbox some right, swords from Cloud Hammer. And these are going to be some. Monkey. And, yeah, be oh, we're, we're channeling the Beastie Boys. Yes. Okay. Um, so, anyway, uh, all right. we are, we have 77 people. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's, Let's do this. 12 people on YouTube. Hello, Hunter Luke. I got your name right. This one, I believe, is a custom. That's very pretty. All right, so um, we got Red Same. Yeah. So this, I believe, is a custom for uh, for Joshua Williams, if you are on. Here is your custom katana. And it is wrapped. If you come on, then we can decide if you want us to show us show off the blade. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put that over to the side here. Ugh. But it's a really pretty sword. So that was a custom for Joshua Williams, if you are on. This feels like Not strictly pop culture, but just some eye catchers. We have plenty of those, fellow. Hi, like everyone. Hopefully hopefully you got a gold fire in there somewhere. No, we did not get to have a gold fire. We are not planning to get another gold fire. We don't owe you a gold fire, do we, Nerdy Wolverine? Hey, Daryl, welcome in, welcome. Oh, hey, Chris wow. Mann, I like the Kin Killer. This is a Dao. Can you unwrap that, baby? Yeah. So this is a pretty cool dowel. And let me tell you about it as soon as Mark unwraps it. What do you think about that pattern in the steel? Oh, that's gorgeous. You know why that's gorgeous? Is this the meteor? This is a meteor sword, people. Second sword, we've got the meteor. This is a meteor. <laughs> we almost lost Mark's fingers, but we have a meteor Damascus sword. Check out the, the folds in the steel. Very irregular. And that's one of the things that happens with meteor swords is that you end up with really irregular folds in the pattern welding. So because of all the impurities that get taken out. What are we looking at? I'm just grabbing it. Oh, okay. Yep. So this is a Tang style Dao. Hey, 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 Jill. Sorry you didn't get the notification. TikTok can be very, very TikTok-y. It's a really uh, cool handle too. Yeah, it's interesting. I want to see it. Bring it back, bring, bring it back. back, bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> I want to see this one. So once again, people, wow, this is really pretty. Once again, a meteorite blade. By the way, all of these are already listed on, t on, uh, on Cloud Hammer's page. Will you get Yuta Sword from Jujutsu Kaisen? We can look for it. My kids really love Jujutsu Kaisen. I've never watched it myself. So once again, a meteorite Tang Dynasty style Dao with the chisel tip. Tang spelled T-A-N-G. Oh, did you? I'm, I'm just limboing. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> you're, you're suicidal, man. No, I'm not. Okay. Thank you, Grungan. Um, highly recommended, JJK. Okay. I will take the Walking Dead sword and can I see the Walking Dead sword again? Yeah, we'll do that after we're done unboxing. How's that? Hey, Mara. Here, let me go grab that actually. Yeah, this, this, or, we can keep that out of the box. Okay. This is... Coming out, this is a really pretty one with the ring skin and everything, the ring skin handle. I like it. I like it. Oh, I really like it. What's that from? I don't know. Ah, uh, let's see. What, can I order custom katana from your website? Not from our website, you have to talk to me. How long did it take to get your order from them? Was it Cloud Hammer you got these from? Yeah, this is Cloud Hammer. Some of these actually came really fast and some of them took their time. I do not know what this one is. And this might be a custom, but I don't remember. <laughs> so um, yeah, I remember he sent me a picture of this. It's like, I don't it's think this like is one a, of our swords. It's a very nice uh, hourglass shaped uh, Scott and very, it, uh, very pretty polishing on the- uh, Yeah, this is a Rico. And I do believe this is a custom for somebody else, not us. I think that Cloud Hammer mis sent us a sword. Ooh. So um, this is always fun here. <laughs> How long does it take to ship? It really depends on who. I mean, if you order from us and we usually have it, this is a really pretty Choji Hamon to it. Mm -hmm. Really pretty Hamon. It's a very nice and narrow Saya as well in the, with a Ishime, I think is this called? Yeah, but I don't remember ordering this at all. So I think that this is a mistake. It's, it's a happy mistake. Oh, I got the plastic sock out. I'm glad to hear that fellow. <laughs> we actually have a problem with one of them. Longest katana we have up, is up there underneath the TV. You can see it, that is an Odachi. Uh, let's see. All right, let's keep on looking here. These are all from Cloud Hammer, by the way. Cloud Hammer Forge, and so is that longest I'm, one. I'm feeling a Same wrapped. Uh, How you same. can tell Same? Oh, I guess it's knobbly. Yeah. 
kind of like a teenager's face. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> do we have a gold wakazashi? Ooh. We do not have a gold wakazashi in hand. Look at this. Oh. We have some people come in. I'll let you take over that. I'll, I will show this guy off. This, my friends, check out. This is actually oh, genuine Japanese good silk. And a manji tsuba. Ray skin wrap. Okay. Okay. Gold tsuba. No and we're going to unwrap this baby because this is definitely worth looking at. Over the parking lot over there? Yeah. That's technically shindigs. Um, so after after you leave here, just walk into Shindig's over there and pretend like you're looking at things, and then I think they'll, you'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you have any questions, uh, let us know. Um, if you will look at the blade, we're going to be asking to do that, is to pull the sheath out in front or pull the handle. And this, I really want to see this. I want to take the oil off it and look at it carefully. But this is Tamahagane. Uh, basically, let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I saw, I was online and I saw something like a gold looking blade. Are you familiar with anything like that? We don't have that anymore. We do have a gold katana over inside, actually. We have two versions. So go look over in the side room on the, like on the floor. It's kind of got a black with gold wrap. It's on the left side of the, on my left. <laughs> so Mark, look against the uh, wall, like on the left side. Oh, yeah. Okay. And that one has a gold blade. Sorry, people, I am multitasking and not doing a very good job. Kenshin Sword, we do have Kenshin Sword. We will show it after we do unboxing if you're still around. So this is once again Tamahagane, but I cannot see under from all the grease. But this is a Tamahagane sword with genuine Japanese silk. So really pretty sword here. Uh, yes, we sell them. Go to rvakatana.com. Yeah. So give me a second here. I'm going to take this oil off. So we can look at it better. Ah, it's me. Yeah, gold is not a good metal for swords. I probably wanted to cut your sword. Of course, I'm not going to be cutting with it, but I would like for whoever I leave it to if they want to cut with it. So, yeah, this is like me, like this particular Tamahagane sword. I can't tell you how beautiful it is. The camera really is not picking up the definition of the, of the folds and the steel. It is, it is pretty stunning. Um, with your naked eye, this is really pretty. It has a lot of pretty features to it. Yes, we are unboxing new swords, Angel. I'm gonna willing to stretch my budget per sword. Yeah, fellows, we can talk, talk to me later. And once again, check out the Tamahagane sword. See you later, Seth. Thanks for coming in. And I gotta remember to re-oil this, but yeah, this is a Tamahagane sword. Any new S5? We actually got some yesterday, Angel. You want you think I'll try to lose that card? And with the S5 swords, we actually uh, they are longer. They are Unakubi style swords, so they have a different style tip. I'll bring it out right now so you can look at it. This one comes with a black Ishime Saya. Um, we actually lost some of the protective wrapping on the sword inside the Saya. We haven't gotten it out yet. So we don't have, we do have the Saya here, but I only have one hand. This is actually a really long blade, blade, 80 centimeters, uh, 31 inches, 31 and a half inches, long handle at six, let's see, five hands. Yeah, hopefully. So hopefully you can just walk out with something, right? Oh, that's so these are the S5. They are on the site. We just added them to the site today. This one, I believe, is maybe 725, I think. It is on the website. I should know this because I just put it in. Check out that bohi. Check out the fuller on this. We're going to unbox more, but Scott is, or not Scott, but uh, Mark is busy with customers. That is a tachi. So those are cavalry sabers. Oftentimes, the kind of mountings were the ones you would wear if you were going to visit like a noble or your lord. I don't want to be wearing it. It's just the looks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. How much is this? The price should be on it. It's 450. Not bad. Mm -hmm. And so this is the saya for it, but the saya has a piece of plastic stuck in it, so we're not going to put it back. We're trying to get the plastic out before we put it back in. <clears throat> We actually got four of these, so we have four four of these particular swords. All right. We will resume unboxing when Mark is done, and so we will look around here. Someone was asking about the Walking Dead sword. I will do that now. It's T10. I got it.
Walking Dead uh, sword here. Uh, this one is made of spring yeah, steel. Yeah, yeah, this is you can see it has the logo right there. Yeah. Yes. I believe it's it's two hundred bucks. Yep. Yeah, what's great about on our it website. It's a good, it's a good uh, solid steel, but it also uh, has the, it takes a hum line really well. And this is a really pretty hum line. Mm -hmm. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. no. kind of fiery. The whole Let's see. Anything else people want to watch while we are WW? If you want to take it, it's on our website. Look for Walking Dead on our website, rvakatana.com. Hey, flip, flip. By the way, people, we are in the middle of unboxing some swords from Cloud Hammer. We just have guests in right now. And so uh, it's a two-person job. It technically, it's a one-person job, but it's a two-person job. I want Mark to be able to see him, too. He rarely gets to unbox with us. So, yeah. Let me see. These are some of our legacy blades. We actually have some new Saya for these. If you don't like gold, we did get some in Ishime Black. So we will have those as well. Are they leather? Are they leather or lethal? Are you? What are you asking? They are lethal, and some of them are leather. Nate Demon. Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer. We do have tons of Demon Slayer swords. Right over here. It's a, it's a whole skill. Yeah. Okay. Lethal. Maybe that's going to be ordered with a different color. It could be. Yeah. It depends on what you're looking for. We can try, but we can't guarantee that we can get everything. Everything. All of the, everything except this. He wants a different side. Oh, you want a different. Yeah. A different right. Saya or a different wrap? Sageo. Sageo. Yeah. 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 I want to know like everything, everything, everything about it except for that. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's hard. <laughs> so if you get it made, then you can get it. Like, yeah, we can probably get it. What to make. Tell us what color you want, and we can probably get that made. Okay, yep. So I, I do like that. That's yeah, Moritaka kind of Vortex. Um, we do not have any Yasha sword. Yeah. Uh, fellow, fellow. it really depends on what you're looking for, too. Zoro sword, we do have Zoro sword. Uh, where is it? On the other side of this rack here. Here are Zoro swords right here. So we're out of the Shusui, but we have Amino Habakiri, the, M, the black M, I don't know what the real name of that is, the uh, Traf Trafalgar Law, the Waruichi Monji, the Sandai Kitetsu, the Nidai Kitetsu, the Emma, and the Yubashiri. So we do have a lot of One Piece swords. Let's see. Uh, heaviest sword would probably be this guy up here. Actually, take it back. Excalibur, Excalibur here is pretty heavy. So this, uh, sorry, oh, my. Let's see, Law. Do you have the Walking Dead one? We do. It's on our website. We only have one right now, rvakatana.com, and you can check it out there. What was was that Sakai Clan Katana? We do have the Sakai Clan on the other side. Uh, Inosuke, we do have. So here is the Sakai Clan right there. And we have a lower version, lower cost of Kai Clan here. Mm -hmm. These are actually nicer tuba, but they do not have the Kojiri on the end. And that is a set for 250 and it comes with a stand. Inosuke, can you show that short? Yeah, show the Inosuke, Mark. Show the Inosuke. By the way, whatever answer Scott Scottuichi gives is probably correct, unless he's talking about football, football <laughs> or. Diets, because he <laughs> he, uh, he he does not like any greens in his food. I don't either. I understand. Okay, you losers. <laughs> <laughs> I like the color green. I don't like it in my food. Okay, we still have the Afro Samurai right there, upside down, but that's good. Uh, favorite one changes all the time. Uh, let's see, Emma. We do have Emma. You want to show the Emma right there? Yes. Let me wrap this back up. Oh, that's a pretty wrap. Leave the mark to wrap things up. Uh, you wanted the Emma? Emma, the purple one. That green and gold one is beautiful. I like this. Oh, no, that's, no, 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 fine. It's totally fine. No, please, please. I'm going to go over here so you can see Mark and Emma. No, this, we are here to serve you. That is a gorgeous freaking sword. I love that one. Check out the tube on this. This is a very noble looking tube. You knew which one to put in the side door. You can thank Scott. He's here online right now and he, I, I wouldn't put him there, but he wants to put the swords right there. And so, so Scott, what is your name, sir? James. James basically saw a sword that he loved because you told us to put that in the front. So there you go, Scott. Victory for you. I will shut up. Uh, let's see. Samurai shampoo. No. No, samurai shampoo. We cannot get real ones. They are real swords. Excalibur. Excalibur is, I think, 450. They actually Excalibur is 450. The store is in Richmond, Virginia. Let's see. I like that one better. Inosuke is 150. You like this better now? Ghost of Tsushima Sword, we do have it. 250 for a set. 
Uh, let's see. And once again, we will get back. Is the big set with Katana Tanto or the Katana and Ninja Tall? It's Katana and Tanto. Uh, once again, we will get back to unboxing Cloud Hammers fairly soon. Okay. Scott's not playing games. He is totally muting people right now. <laughs> what does Excalibur look like? It is a heavy, big sword. They are all sharp. Almost all of them are sharp. You want to go ahead and draw that, baby? This is a big sword, big buff sword. It's pretty heavy, too. It's a chonker. It is a chonky sword, but these are all sharp swords. Zoro sword from One Piece. Of course, someone calls. I bet you they're watching us online. <laughs> we will not answer that call if you are calling for us now, because we just can't. Zoro sword from One Piece are right here. They are sharp and full tank. Once again, if whatever spider eyes, spider eyes is usually correct. Scott is probably 99% correct. Unless as Scott is talking about the best razors to shave his head with. <laughs> well, you Dagger, I don't think we know. We do ship guts, um, rvacatana.com. Shipping fees will be calculated at checkout before you, before you actually check out. Templar Blade Claymore. We have had Claymores. Wait, what? What's that about a Claymore? Yeah, Mark doesn't like him calling Claymores. We have never had an actual Claymore in store because we have not yet had a Basket Hilton Broadsword in store. We do have, we can get a Kingston Arms uh, Claymore, if you wish. Seems quality, to be honest, about 150 once, and it was awful. Well, we can't speak to that. 150, you can't expect an amazing sword. Though our $150 swords, I think, are pretty good. Yeah. Sasuke's, we do have Devil May Cry, we have. With we have two. $150 swords, all that money is basically going into the blade. The Sasuke right here, the, we have, to, or sorry, Devil May Cry. We have two right here, a long version made by Cloudhammer. This is the last one. And then the short one over here. Let's see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, do you all have a great sword? I think they're all great. Oh, you mean a great sword. <laughs> See what I did there? Unfortunately. Oh no, we sold the great sword. We, we sold all of them, yeah. We sold all our great swords, but unless, we do get them. Unless you count the old Achi, but the, Yeah, we, do, we do get them. Tell him to answer the phone. <laughs> Trevor Phillips, I'm not gonna, I can't answer the phone because we're using the phone right now. You can call us after the uh, live stream ends. <laughs> uh, Chinese dragon sword. We have a lot of dragon sword. RVA, great sword. Thank you, Twisted Tonics. Can I see the Cloud Hammer Purple Gale SX105E? The Purple Gale, we actually need to take new pictures of it because we had to swap the Saya out. Uh, where is the Purple Gale? Those are Chinese style swords right there. Yeah, that's what he just said. This is the Purple Gale. Actually, the new version of the Purple Gale has a really nice kurigata of a brown, a brown, uh, what do you call it? A brown kurigata. Purple Gale, SX-105E, it has that early terminating oh, bulky, really nice sword. SX-105E has excellent edge retention. Some of the best that we have here, minus short of uh, ASAP 88, which is a much more expensive sword. Hey, Rehu. Uh, let's see. Hey, Ryan. Singing blades, the bulky make them sing. Any prime katana from Japan? I don't know if we have any prime katanas from Japan, but we do have katanas from Japan. We actually just got two in. What are the katana with longer handles called? Longer handles, nagamaki maybe? It's just a katana with a longer we, handle. Yeah, the we- Nagamaki, there, there's a lot more that goes into a nagamaki than just the handle. There, we actually got those new um, new oh, katana, yeah, antique katana in yesterday during our, our uh, we got them from Matthew Jarrell who did our talk yesterday. Very heavy piece too. I know that, let's see, do you have Luffy's Kitetsu? Is that the Nidai Kitetsu right here? We have the Nidai Kitetsu. Oh, you only have to ask once, Trevor. We will get to your comments. So we have a Kitetsu. I don't know if that's Luffy's Kitetsu or not. We have Sandai and Nidai. Uh, do you have accessories? We do. If I order one, do you repair it if I break it? Uh, depends on what you do. If you do something not so intelligent, like try to smash it against a rock, no, we won't. So it depends on how you break it. Actually, no, <laughs> once it's in your possession, our sword should not break. Katana three-piece display set. We don't actually have any pure display sets. Sell refreshments and seating by the hour so people can just sit and look at them. No, they can sit and look at them without actually, you know, having snacks. Tanjiro sword for 150 right here. Tanjiro sword, two versions of it. Bought two swords from RVA Katana and they were amazing. They were legit. Thank you, Chris. What's the best quality sword you have? That really depends on what you're looking for, but probably the Cloud Hammers or Dragon Kings. The longest katana is this guy up here, an Odachi at 47 inches. It is made of sub-12 spring steel. Um, and also Moritaka, Scott. So Moritaka, ah, here's a place where Scott Tuichi is a little bit raw. Moritaka is also an amazing brand. We do not have anything from Jujutsu Kaisen, but we will look into it. We are located in Richmond, Virginia. Do you have any Metal Gear solid swords? We do not. 
Uh, once again, any answer that Scott Ichi gives is probably correct, unless he is talking about uh, about yeah. hairstyling because his hair is awful. Um, some of these katanas have loose wrapping that slides. Would yours have those problems? It depends. If you're paying for a sword that's at least two hundred dollars, it'll most likely have pretty good wrap. Mm -hmm. We do have some Damascus katanas. We actually do not have a whole lot these days. We've sold out a lot of them, but we do have some rotary Damascus right here. Yeah, we have one of these. I don't think this is on the website. And if you're, and if you're Damascus, like in full armor, getting if you manage to this one is uh, like 200. Armor, the only way someone could this one is 150. Through, basically, through this is our most popular seller, probably. In nasty. fact, it's the yeah. only Damascus. Yeah. 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 And yeah. it cuts really nicely. We've done a lot of cutting with it. It has a pretty nice, a pretty nice Damascus pattern. I'm going to try to hold it up so you can see it better. But uh, my camera is not the best resolution in the world. can only get about this far in. So they're taking it into like the shoulders. It Here's one that we have several of for 250. Right. It's, it's this one is a hammer spine. Oh, that's the leather wrap panel. There. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hammered spine, chiseled spine, oh, machine so. yeah, hammered like spine, yeah. Dremel spine, yeah. Dremel spine. Yeah. <laughs> not we have to compare two to see if they're exactly the same or not. Wrap so Let's see. Really like Can you sharpen them? We do have a sharpener here. Yeah, it just car it, he charges 40 bucks to sharpen the monochi. How soon does it ship out? It depends on when you order. If you ordered it before like 3.30 today, I'll take it home with me and ship it tomorrow. Um, Monday's kind of an interesting thing. Plus we might have snow tomorrow. So it really depends. We try to get them, get them out within two days and we ship from Richmond, Virginia. Hate to ask all these questions, but these are made in Longtran, China. Uh, let's see, do you make them or just sell? We just sell. We import. Any word on blue-eyed samurai being made? Yeah, I just asked and they said they're still being made. What are the anime swords? Are they sharp? Yes, our anime swords are sharp. Um, the ones that are, have painted like colored colored blades are generally not razor sharp, but they are sharp. Sharp enough to cut mats with, we have. Longest katana is this odachi up here. Technically not a katana, but an odachi, but that's the longest one we have. Do Damascus or hammered spide affect the cutting ability? If it is Damascus, you do risk, we just, you never know with Damascus swords. Um, and so there is a risk when cutting something hard like bamboo. But we have cut bamboo with our, only Damascus. Hammered spines, we don't know. We're actually thinking about cutting with one and finding out. Kenny Dallas, let's see. Sorry about this, Kenny. I want to answer your questions now. And aloha mofo. <laughs> you had one in the side room on the wall up by the window. It either looked dark back or dark green, and that one looked good. Uh, side room. I am not sure which one you were referring to. Let's see. Favorite katana changes from hour to hour. Hey, paranormal, if you're in the same city, come visit us. I pay for the Walking Dead sword. Awesome. Odie Damascus is 150, Josh. The oldest sword we have for sale is we have a Nagamaki um, made into a Wakazashi for four, it's just 400 years old. That's the oldest one we have for sale at the present moment. We have several that are 150 to 250 years old. But like we did have several 500 year old swords. Not We had two 500 year old swords with sold and we will be getting more. I'm getting ready to get Red Fushigiri Sakabato Afro Samurai, but we need two recommendations. I don't know what they are. Uh, fellow, which one are you asking for? Uh, let's see. I always mess my up my words in this live. It's all good, Kenny Dallas. Can you look into getting the silver wolf head cane from the series, The Strain? We can look into it. Uh, Kusabi Maro, might as well get, yeah. Can you show the long swords again? Sorry. We'll let Which long sword do you want to see? Sure, show that one. This is our SX-105V from Cloudhammer. This one is a beast of a sword. Very nice weight. We're, I'm going to post a video of us, uh, both Mark, who knows how to cut with it, and me, who doesn't know how to cut with it, okay. cutting. And the fact that I was able to cut very smoothly with it is saying something, because I'm not a good cutter and I never used a long sword before and still cut pretty smoothly. Uh, it's, it. it's the same as a Japanese sword. <laughs> I don't want to hear that, man. Black or dark green, but it's okay. Thanks for trying. Uh, black or dark green. Which one are you asking about? We do have plenty like that. What's cool about this one is this is a quote unquote Damascus pattern. Pattern welded steel. Yep. <clears throat> And despite the size, it's actually really light and lively. That one up there is actually a, these are all anime swords. Mark's mullet matches that sword. Uh, excuse me, it's long in the front, so it's not a mullet, thank you very much. He's, he's, uh, he's packing his Jesus look. <laughs> Any signs of the Kodachi arrival of the shipping? No, Antoine, they did not come to shipping. Is that red skin? Meto Shigure, we do not have. Most expensive is an antique. Uh, we have an antique for $37.50. 
We will soon have um, a, one of my wakazashi that I am going to part with will be for sale. It's actually a Naginata wakazashi that I'm going to part with, um, which has Muneaki, which will be a little more, probably like four thousand dollars. Yeah. How do I go about ordering from you? Josh, check our website, rvakatana.com. There's something you, you like, or if, if there's something you saw, I can tell you where to find it on our website. All I know is that it was near the top of, rack a lot of, little of the window uh, of your side room. Come together top to rack, excuse me, to top to rack of the window. Um, top rack of the window. I don't see anything. Do you mean some of the Tonto Kenny Downs? Uh, let's see. I pay for the Walking Dead sword. www. Go to our website rvakatana.com and look up uh, look up uh, what do you call it? Walking Dead, and you will find that sword. You can order that way. Are ones in Shirasai more than two hundred? Fellow, no, they're one hundred and seventy five usually. Most let's see. Oh, you like to watch it? Do you watch us on? What it, it was been a sword that was as long from here to there. Is it that one up there? No, it was one I had. It was longer than that. It was. It was. From the antique Japanese swords on your site, which one do you think would make the best family heirloom? Angel, that really depends on what you're looking for. That really depends on what you're looking for. Can you show me some of the anime swords, please? Yeah, uh, so yes, Scott is correct, um, of course. Shirasai is for blade storage. When you look at a stick sword that is functional, we call them shikomizue. Now I'm confused. I don't see it now. Kenny, it must have done the uh, cloaking device. Are those home for for, for home protection or just decorations? Yes, you could do either. You could use a decoration that could be used for home protection. And heirloom can be anything. Yeah, your heirloom could technically be Cook's uh, fingernail uh, shards, but I wouldn't do that personally. But hey, you never know. Do you have more odachi? We have a ton of odachi, but they are not on the website yet because Scott's been too busy to do it. But here are our odachi here. We have a lot of them in spring steel. We do have several that are on the website at the present moment. Did you say you were looking for a gold blade? You gotta show them that one. I love people when people's reaction when they see that. Oh, damn. Oh, God. James, that is, that is nice. I just love it when people love our swords. <laughs> Everything we stock is sharp and can be used to cut with with full tang, except wooden swords in the Idaho. Oh, I was saying Scott is almost always right, but he forgot about these these uh, restaurant display swords that we have. <clears throat> but anyway, yes. You know what you could do? What? You could display both. You could actually get a case. I support this. this. I support this decision. I paid for the Walking Dead sword. Awesome, WW. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Do you guys have any black zombie killers in stock? Antoine, no. We're waiting for them. So where do Cloudhammer Tamahagane rank among the steel Cloudhammer offers? Wolf, the Tamahagane swords are basically beautiful swords, just like the meteor swords. These are ones that you're not going to cut with. You could if you needed to, but you wouldn't want to because of the polishes. So if you're looking for a durable, durable sword to cut with, we do not recommend the Tamahagane. Oh my god, Amazon boxes. Yeah. They're nice because they're nice and big. Uh, what is the best condition antique Japanese sword? We just got two in stock. Um, they're not on our website yet. If you're looking for full katana, um, we don't have our, we'll, we'll have them on our website, but we don't have them so far. Thank you, www. Uh, let's see. Yeah, basically Scott's got it. We have a, all these wooden swords that we have on sale. One of our suppliers, they, they they got their Amazon store shut down. So instead of having their things destroyed, they had it sent to us because they couldn't get it shipped back to China. So they shipped it to us. And so we have all these freaking wooden swords up there that we are trying to get rid of. And therefore we are having them at a pretty cheap price. Trust me, I want to get rid of it. Can I see the sword he just bought? Who just bought what? Cloud hammers are not our most popular swords, but a lot of people like to talk about them because they're pretty awesome. Forteca asks, let's see, I'm going to your site to see if I can let you know. Let's see, Forteca asks, can you show, show me the Umber Autumn? I just ordered one and the Moritaka Vortex. Vorteca, those are already packed up and ready to go. So they're already at my house and they are boxed up. So it'd be very hard for me because number one, it's not here. Number two, it's boxed up. Let's see, Sword from Thundercats, we do not have it. 
Later. They are thirty-five dollars to Angel. They are not only thirty-five dollars on site. If you get more than one, they start the price starts to drop on each one. There are six of them at that price. Actually, yeah, hmm. yeah, you see it how much does a real happiness. one run? About ten thousand USD. Okay, so um, a real okay. antique Japanese sword can run you anywhere from about fifteen hundred to well into the tens of thousands, depending on what you get. We do not have so Hakoro swords. Here. Once again, everyone, by the way, we are going to unbox more Cloudhammer swords when our guests leave. Okay. Your Aquamarine, Obsidian, Tomahagen are so tempting. Chin Hobby, we are about to unbox those. We have not unboxed them yet. We will unbox them later. Awesome, www. He bought the Walking Dead sword. WWW. I'm trying to say www real fast. <laughs> these are not stainless steel. Are these real swords stainless steel? Stainless steel do not make for good swords. Can you show his Walking Dead sword? We can show his Walking Dead sword. Oops. Mark wants to show off our Walking Dead, or his Walking Dead sword, WWW's Walking Dead sword. Yeah, we're trying to say it, WWW. Yeah, we, we do stock two stainless steel swords that are used for drawing practice. This needs to be cleaned. Yeah, we have a lot of gunk on them. Sticks to it. I've been, I've been uh, like, during my shifts, I've been, like, taking a bunch of swords and cleaning them off. Are those functional? Can I go out in the woods and blaze a trail? You could, but you're better off with a machete for that kind of thing. Or one of these, uh, these sort of ones that are actually designed for bushcraft. Tacticals. Yep. Most durable is S5. Yes. These actually have a really uh, a really thick edge bevel, so they're not very fine cutters, but these are good for cutting through brush and stuff like that. Fellow, um, if you send me a message, it, and I'll show you the ones that we have that are in uh, Shikomizue. I'm going to go ahead and show these to Mark. And see all these swords. We do plan on unboxing these. We do have those Tamahagane swords coming up. So we have these two guys over here. So this is one of the Shikomizue, a straight one made of um, spring steel. This should be on the website, actually. I know this one's on the website. The curved one might not be on the website. Yeah, here's another one that needs to be cleaned. Finally on the live and not the main character. Scott is never the main character, despite <laughs> what he wants to believe. Despite what he wants to believe. <laughs> the Umber Autumn, by the way, Vorteca is that's such a beautiful sword. Uh, let's see. Can you clean and sharpen it? Yes. Yep. Price range starts at 70, goes up to, yeah, yep, right. Scott got it right there. The As I said, is, Scott Uichi is usually correct, but not always. And the thing is, too, most of these don't need a sharpening. Zoro's Wadoichi Monji. We do have Zoro's Wadoichi Monji. Wadoichi Monji. I'm going to move this over a little bit so I don't keep on getting cramped up. There's Wadoichi Monji. Ah, sorry, I kicked the freaking stand. This is Wadoichi Monji right there. 150 bucks. As Scott says, he is correct again. Hey, Celtic Knight. Like this one here. Mm -hmm. This wrap. Wood splitting swords. You know, swords aren't the best for wood splitting. I mean, you could, but get an axe for that. That sounds cool. 1045 carbon steel is sharp. Yes. Cloud hammer is where, where can you show? Cloud hammer is where can you show? Uh, Cloudhammerforge.com is where we have our website. And we can show them here. Here's our cloud hammer rack here. Recently depleted, but <laughs> we can add a lot of new swords onto them. Uh, can you show us Wakazashi and how much is a starting point? Um, let's see, probably 175. We have Wakazashi that come in Daisho sets, but you can get them separately right over here. Uh, let's see if I can focus in on it and stand. You always ask about Wakazashi, but they don't sell very well. Yeah, I know. Here is Golden Sakura. This is actually based on a Japanese tsuba that we had custom made. So you, you want me to just email this to you? Yeah, uh, um, email me. Yeah, email RVA Katana. Take a picture of it and send me a picture of, the, of it so I know what you're looking for. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, they're wanting to do some uh, some custom uh, colors. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. We can see what we can do. We can't but guarantee it's and everything. If, if not, we'll just do something different. Oh. And here's another one of the basic wakazashi. You're not Japanese enough to squat, right? You can't do the Asian squat. Oh, Mark can do the Asian squat. He claims he is part Norwegian or Swedish, but indeed he might be part Japanese. It's because I used to do lots of- How much is that curved one? Which curved one? Mm -hmm. Morty Taco Vortex. Let's see. All right, guys, I appreciate you, man. Yeah, thank, thank you for coming in. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, no, I was too busy being live. I couldn't sit but yeah, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and now back to our regular hey, scheduled you programming, you which is the unboxing of Cloud Hammer Swords. If they actually end up buying something, we'll give you a little credit for the. Appreciate it. Yeah. Do you have any katanas without Bohi? Made a German 51 CRV4. We currently do not. All of our 51 CRV4 has have Bohi at the moment. But really, <coughs> um, check out the uh, SX 105V budget because those are like better cutters than the 51 CRV. They're not quite as durable. None of them have Bohi. 
black or green and it wasn't really shiny black. It just caught my eye. We'll figure it out. How did you rate the leather Ito on the Umber Autumn? Did Phoenix Arms improve it tight enough? It's very tight, Vorteca. Um, it's not as good as Cloud Hammer's, but. No this, one does leather wrap like Cloud Hammer. Nobody does leather wrap like Cloud Hammer. This one is the Crimson Manji. That sounds kind of inappropriate in Japanese, but okay. <clears throat> Let's see. It's very, that's a gorgeous Hummel. Yes, this has got a, uh, a Choji style Hummel. We are back to unboxing Cloud Hammers, people. <laughs> so here we are. Very pretty Choji Hamon. And has a man. Actually, can you point it towards the cameras yeah. so you can see the manji, the manji Hamon? And then just, let me show the, this has red ray skin, a red ray skin saya. And the manji in the in the fuchi as well. You put it, put and, it back. Yeah. Yeah. And the habaki. Everything about this is manji. And it's got a Rico style. This one also has a Rico style. Tsuba or yeah. Ska. Is that S5 or Tama? It is uh, SX105V actually. This is SX105V Cook or and, and Scott. Uh, don't mean to be, no worries, Kenny. We'll try to find the sword. We'll try to find it. We're back to unboxing our cloud hammers at the present moment. By the way, Joshua Williams, if you are on, we just got your, uh, your sword in. What is Bohi, Mad Dog? Bohi is the so-called blood groove or a fuller? It's a fuller. I don't even like to use the word uh, blood groove. Just erase it from existence. It's red, so I got pumped. Uh, Cook, keep watching. Oh, here's the second one. Okay, awesome. That was a, an extremely narrow sheath. This is an S5 Hanjian. Look how narrow that is. This is the sample. Cloud Hammer is going to do a production run of these, and they're going to be actually more expensive once the production run happens. But I, I got the two samples that were made. Actually, Ray Hu over here on, on uh, YouTube got one of them, and I got the other one for the shop. Wow, that's light. What's wrong with Blood Groove? It's just not a very technically correct answer. It, it also uh, promotes a myth that it that the groove would like vacuum out blood, which is complete BS. We uh, we just can't. And it's also not a technically correct term. Just erase it from history. Wow, listen to that sing. I'm kind of jealous because Mark is using this better than I can, even though I practice Tian. Anyway. Which city are you guys in? We're in Richmond, Virginia. Look how springy that is. It's S5 and springy, right? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We just got one of these yesterday it's... for a Ray Hu. Oh gosh, this is yep. so freaking lightweight. It almost feels like a Wushu sword. Yeah, so. Very nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is a, you can do a, you can do a modern fencing uh, coupe with this. You can. Yeah, some people were asking about S5 besides Ray, there was someone else. I bet you they would love this sword. This is amazing. You said if I order before 2.30, it'll get shipped faster. Fellow, if you order before 2.30, it means that, well, if you order now before I leave, I can pick it up and, and I'll ship it out tomorrow. NYC, yes, we can ship to NYC. Anywhere in the States. Yeah, as long as I'm here and I get the order in before I leave, then I can take it with me and ship it on tomorrow. Julian Baliano, we are in Richmond, Virginia. All right, here we are. Continuing unboxing cloud hammers. This is what? Something about a purple uh, same wrap on the... On this the is actually supposed to be black, but I'll go with it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is supposed to be a black Samegawa, but it actually has this sort of a reddish hue to it. Yeah, it look, makes it look purple. Yeah, it makes it look purplish. But this is another one of the... Actually, I'll let Mark draw it. Joshua Williams, your sword is in, by the way. Do you want to see it? This is not technically purple. It's technically black, but just the pattern that it came out. So this is Tamahagane. I, by the way, you have to remind me, I need to oil the Tamahagane red one. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is Tamahagane? This is Tamahagane. Ooh. But you really can't pick out the detail in, in this lighting and with my crappy camera here. <laughs> this is the Obsidian, but apparently it's not Obsidian. It has got, <laughs> I have to rechange the name. So help us come up with a gemstone that is kind of a reddish crimson black. Amethyst? Like it's like a black cherry, black cherry, but it's, yeah. Anyway, that's a really pretty, very pretty uh, black there. Mm -hmm. I didn't, wow, that is a really pretty color. And check out the striations in the ray skin. That came out really nicely. Striations. This is, striations, thank you. <laughs> striations. Striations, really? Yes. I, I never know how to say that. Yep, striations. Uh, striations, are, are we rationing the stries? Yes, we are. <laughs> Bloodstone, all right. We're gonna call it Bloodstone. Oh, we got uh... Wild cherry, but there's no cherries. Oh, which one is this? This one, oh, this one is not on our website. Someone, do we have more people coming in? <clears throat> this one, on, I'll grab this. Are you gonna, yeah. 
<laughs> we can't decide who gets to un unwrap it. Hello. Hello. Give it you in one second. We are unboxing live, but Mark will take care of you in a moment. So this is a, another one of the bamboo, the bamboo tsuba. It has a Toji Hamon SX105V. And this one, this one has Kozuka Kogai. Kozuka Kogai for this one. So yeah, that, wow, this Hamon is gorgeous. You gotta sing it like I do. Not yet, Chase. Where's Chase asking? Do you guys ever have? No, we do not. Inheritance cycle. I hated. I hated Aragon so much. I think I would feel dirty if we got that sword. <laughs> These new ones are already posted, Gun Gun, except for this one. This one I did not realize was coming. So this one is not on the website, but most of them are on CloudHammerForge.com. Yeah, this Hamon is really pretty. This is a Toji style Hamon on SX105V, three colored polish. It does have Kosuka Kogai. So if you ever wonder why your tuba has holes in it, it's so that the, the Kosuka Kogai can fit in it. Uh, the Kogai, is that like a, a hair tool or what is it for? Some people call it the hair ornament tool. It's just a multi-purpose tool. It's not multi-purpose enough for us to fish the plastic out of the Saya, unfortunately. Yeah, not long enough. Not long enough. Can't see it, it's very fuzzy. Sorry. I don't know. Kozuka, here's the, here's the coal guy. <clears throat> These are black and brass with a bamboo. I don't know if you can see the bamboo theme on them. Cameras don't have the best resolution, so we apologize for that. Notice how shallow my apology is. <laughs> yeah, the sword in the movie was nothing like the ones in the books. Well, that's good to know. Um, Aragon, yeah, once again, not my favorite thing in the world. I've heard the series didn't get good until like what the last book. Really? That's not good. So I've heard. I mean, I only I only read the first one. And that was a long, long time ago. Yeah, the problem is that it, to me, it's like it's like a sci-fi version of, or sorry, a fantasy version of Star Wars with an even whinier version of Luke Skywalker and a more pedantic version of Obi Wan. So he was fifteen when he wrote it. So my friend just showed up who was talking about the blood groove as a bleeder sword where the groove was meant to keep the wound open and the sword is in. That no, is wrong. That it is, does not work that way. That is completely inaccurate. You can see with my the contempt on my face how, how dumb that is. This is the last of the Tamahagane swords. This has one of the tsunami style fittings. We call this one the Aquamarine on the, on the Cloud Hammer website. I'm gonna come at this angle so we have less sunlight going. Actually, let's see, let's come this way. This is a dark blue ray skin. Actually, it looks pretty light in person, but it might just be the white speckles. The white speckles. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. This is Tamahagane. So, oh, you can, well, at least with the naked eye, you can see this. And if you look at the pictures on the Cloudhammer website, you'll see very accurate pictures of this. This is one of the Tamahagane ones. I wiped the oil off of one of the Tamahagane ones so you can get a better look at it. Where is it? I love that ray skin. Oh, that's so nice, yeah. Oh, these are emperor nodes on here. Look at this. Yep. Like right here is an emperor node. Emperor nodes? What color? The tuba and sageo. Which one, which one, Steve? Any of them signed on the hill? No, not, not these. Let's see. Most durable, yes. S5 shock seal, thank you for answering Chin Hobby Toys. It's the best one for blade breakages. Best edge retention will be ASAP 88 or SX105V. If you want to see a great version of the Swordsmith on that works, did an awesome job. It was better than the movie version. Oh, that works. Uh, the Yeah, for a while they had Baltimore Knife and Sword. I don't know if they have a different forge there. Baltimore Knife and Sword, that's like a man at arms. Yeah. Forge. Great guys. Yeah, that works um, as I think Matt and Ilya from Baltimore uh, Knife and Sword. I think they left that company though. I'm not sure what the situation is there. Steve, the Aquamarine is a white brass Suba and a white Sageo. I think it looks a lot like the one that you got um, from Cloudhammer before. It probably is a very similar look. <laughs> white and black Suba. 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 1650 on the Tomahogany blades. Yes, they were less expensive than I thought they would be. Originally, I was quoting 2000, but they are actually a lot less expensive. Hey, that curved one I wanted, I can't find on the website. Fellow, do you mean the Afro Samurai? Is that the one you're looking for? Afro, Afro Samurai? 
Fellow, anything that you want, you can always, if you can't find it on the website, you can contact me later. I think they're still in the room just looking. Oh. All right, so those are our cloud hammer swords that we got in. And Mark, if you can yeah, show them off again, and I'm going to go check on our guests. <laughs> You guys have any questions for live streaming? So. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's That's see right. any comments that we got. So, Mark, this is the guy that brought your Claymore. I'm sorry, the Highlander sword. Oh, uh, okay. He's going to have conditions. Yep. So. Yeah, I, I know. I think he's, you're thing. Scottish, right? Yeah. So, he's Scottish. A Scottish. I'm part Scottish. Yeah. I, I know that it's like a weird. It's It'd be like Clay de Lee in actual Gaelic, yeah. but like. The Victorians ruined everything for us. Yeah, yeah. I still want to play more though because that's just like a good name. It's it's about. it's a it's common for marketing. Yeah. Yeah. Recently saw a dagger that is illegal, supposedly state dependent, and the blade twisted the three edges. I've seen those. I don't know. Uh, I can't like actually speak to whether or not that's actually like if that if it creates such a grievous wound or not. I know what you're talking about. Sort of the corkscrew edges. I've Joshua, seen, I've seen those, yeah. Joshua Williams, is it? Are you on Joshua Williams? Because I have your sword here. <coughs> I think this is Joshua Williams' sword. Okay. Let me see if he's on. We haven't unwrapped that. We haven't unwrapped the blade, Joshua Williams, unless you want us to. If you're on. Oh, he's on. Do you want to? Do you want to look at the blade? Do you want us to unwrap the blade? Here it is. This is yours, right, Joshua? Show him this tuba first. This is a, It's really pretty. Actually, the detail on this tuba is really nicely done. Do you want to, don't take it off, don't take it off until he gives us permission. Yep. Uh, let's see, dibs on the crimson manji, says Ryan. I mean, gotta buy it. <laughs> yeah, um, the remake of Shogun is coming out. Hopefully it's better than the original. I'm hoping to. So Joshua, do you want us to unread, do you want to see the blade right now or do you want us to keep it wrapped? Yeah, hopefully this new Shogun will be much better. It feels really nice. Yeah, such a nice sword. Jinhabi FA. Yeah, just kind of like a, give it a little twist. Ah, uh, yeah, that side sword is really nice. You can do it. So you can go ahead and sheath it. We'll wait until. Okay. Oh, yeah. When Joshua Williams, if he gives us permission to unwrap this, the the blade, then we'll unwrap it and show. Otherwise, we'll just ship it to him as is. Yep. Can you show my aquamarine blade again, <laughs> Steve? Did you order the aquamarine blade? Did you order it? I didn't see the order. Well, anything Steve can order anything he wants, he uh, can, and he probably me. has. <laughs> <laughs> Trade you. <sighs> Are you looking at the gladius? Uh, the, oh, that guy, the Franken sword. Yeah. So this one is coated in um, uh, coated in oil. Do you want us to take the oil off? I didn't hear it because I was busy. Yeah, www. We'll show it again in a minute. Okay. I'm sorry if, if I'm annoying you with the way I'm making fun of your name, but it's just too much fun. <laughs> it's not really his name as much as his call sign. So. His username, yeah. His username. We don't make fun of people's names, and we will totally make fun of people's usernames. Oh, yeah. Because you can choose a username. No, I'm just, we're just messing with you. Oh, this is beautiful. So, Steve, I don't know if you can see the detail in this. Let me see if I... There, look at the striate. Say the word striations. striations. Yep. This is one of the words that I've been saying wrong my entire life. <laughs> I was 52 years old when I learned that you say the I word was, striations. I was today years old. <laughs> I was today years old, and I am 52. So, man, check out check out that detail. Right, I don't know. I wish this camera would focus. Can you actually? Let me put this here. And I'm trying to see if we can focus in on that detail in the hamon. There we are. Yeah, I was totally focusing on Mark's face. <laughs> Mark's face. Face. Oh, wow, that is so pretty. Here, let me... The stick sword or whatever you showed, a straight one, then the curved one, I can't find the curved one. Fellow, order the order the straight one, and I will I will give you the, the other one. And uh, Mark is currently taking pictures. 
I'm going to send it uh, to Steve on Discord. Nice. The blade, not Mark's face. I'm with you there, Steve. Here, Steve. <laughs> let me, let me, I'll send it to you on, uh, well, I'll just post it on Discord. Have Zangetsu. We do have Zangetsu. We have, um, not Tensa. We sold out of it, but we will be getting it again. Wow. Man. These Tamahagane blades are gorgeous. See if we can get the focus there. All right. So if you're on Discord, I have posted a couple detail pics. Of the we blade. have tons of swords from Bleach, <clears throat> so we need to re-oil this one and that yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, pack Steve's hoodie with the Aquamarine Tomahogne. Uh, okay. Where is Steve's hoodie? It's in my. It's in my house. Oh, okay. Steve, I'll, I'll wrap your Tomahogne in your in your thing for extra padding. Um. Let's see. By the way, did everyone see the meteor sword? Did everyone, everyone who wanted to see the meteor sword, yeah, we're gonna show it anyway. <laughs> Here's the meteor Tang Dynasty style sword. Yeah, we'll show you the, the yeah, bleach swords in a minute here after we show the Cloud Hammer meteor, meteor Damascus. What's really cool about meteor, oh God, it's so beautiful. Meteor Damascus creates these really irregular patterns. Man, let me go put this up here and I will put my hand behind it once again. So out of the frame, Mark. <sighs> Man. You know what, Mark, you hold it. I'm so afraid I'm gonna cut myself while trying to multitask here. <laughs> it's got some, a little bit of gunk on the inside of me. I'm gonna have to oil that one now. <laughs> put, your, put your hand behind it, because we found out someone taught us that this helps to bring you, bring you closer so you can see the patterns better and it focuses in better. Yeah, Meteor. And, and to ask, what is S5 like in terms of rust resistance? Does it fare better than German 51? No, it's about the same, Antoine. I found with S7 that it's actually very uh, uh, corrosion resistant. Really? Yes, with S7. I don't know about S5, but S7, I've left my S7 swords for like over a year without like messing with them and they just don't corrode. It's the weirdest thing. So YouTube says Baltimore Knife and Sword is run by Kerry Stagner. Stagner, yeah. Matt Stagmer and uh, Ilya have formed that works. Uh, I guess they might have left BKS. I don't know. Um, maybe there was some drama that happened, but I don't know enough to comment on it. Shirzai Chukoto is straight. Yes, order that one, fellow, but I'll bring you the curved one. Do you want to show the curved one really quickly? The curved... Uh, Shukomizue. Shukomizue. We'll show you that one before you make that decision, fellow. <clears throat> we'll try not to break my swords. Yeah. Because <laughs> that one's going home with me. That meteor, that meteor, I just, all the meteor swords come with me. <laughs> John's like, no, you can't have them. No, you can't have them. Scott says his S5 will rust fast. So mm, interesting. Yeah. One handed hander tong dao. So this is the uh, curved uh, shikomizue. This needs to be wiped down. Hang on. This is bugging me. Man, that was fun. I'm, I'm really just, I just love those cloud hammers we just unboxed. There are some pretty ones. There we go, much better. All right. Oh, so Marcus, remember to wipe this down too, or not wipe it down, but oil, oil, oil yeah. it. Yeah. I've put some of my uh, uh, clove oil in the in that bag, so. I was wondering about the smell. I was like, oh. <laughs> I mean, the good smell, not. Exactly. It's like, ooh, it smells like cloves. Hold on a second, I'm gonna give these people with the swords to focus with. Take over the stream. <laughs> John's gone. Fun time. All right, what do we got? Up there, too slow. Uh, too slow. Um, uh, wants to see his sword. Who wants to? That's the that's the Walking Dead sword. Okay. Want to see that again? Ooh, we're just gonna fight. Because www is pretty hard to say. We're just. Uh, Mark is gonna wipe it down really quickly. Yeah, it's got a lot of. Uh, some like side of wood on it. We call that one the cookies and cream, but it has a really pretty uh, uh, folding steel, the folding steel in it and the clay tempering. Yeah, here you go, much better. Do you have any from Demon Slayer? Yes, we do. I'll take the curved one. Fella, make the order and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll uh, it's make sure. It's having a sword that you need to just point. <laughs> yeah, fella, just go ahead and order it and I will be sure to give you the, the curved one instead of the straight one. No Warhammer or Battle Axes. No, but we can get them if they're on Cast Siberia. Excuse me. It's a cough that's been going on. Oh, one's from Bleach. I am so sorry. Are you coughing? Are you? Into my shirt. Thank you very much. Ugh. All right. 
Here are the ones from Bleach. We have, um, I don't know all my Bleach swords, but basically from that blue handled one down are Bleach swords. And then Ninja Gaiden. Can I see the Tengen blades? We just sold a pair of Tengens yesterday. You wanna go ahead and show this guy? Yeah. The colored Tengens. Do you guys sell tatami mats? We can for $8 each. We don't have them on our website though. Where's the red sword from Demon Slayer? Which one is the red sword? Like Kokushibu, the pink sword? I'm sure there are a bunch of red swords from Demon Slayer. No, Demon Slayer doesn't. I can't think of any that are red like on the Saya and stuff. Mm. Are they durable and sharp though? Which one, Joshua? Oh, the, the red sword, which ones? Yeah, these are 1045 steel or 1060 steel and uh, they are durable. Sharp, if they are a colored blade, they are not gonna be as sharp as they can be because that coating does make them a little less sharp. But they Change are still, the they're still sharpable. They are still, you're still enough to cut up sharpable. They're still, like a cheesable, a lunchable. <laughs> no, they're still um, sharp enough to cut mats. We have cut mats with them. What's the lens on the Tamahangani ones? 27.5, Steve, standard. So yeah, people, we just un unboxed several gorgeous cloud hammers, Tamahagane ones, of which one is already sold. We got like three Tamahagane ones. One has already sold. And then um, we got a Meteor Tang Dao and a, um, let's see, some SX-105V. Yeah, we got a lot of pretty cool swords today. And this guy, this is S5, right? The S5, basically a Wushu sword, it's so flexible. Like, Thank you, Scott, for muting. That was really uncool. Oh boy, now I'm curious. He just said he wanted to unalive his family. Ugh. Just yeah. found the page, looks amazing. My wallet is not gonna like this, but we will, Ted, and that's what counts. You do the channel, do you guys sell Southeast Asian blades like the crits? No, if we could find them, we would do them. None of our forges make them that we know of. I'm sure they could make them, but it's just, a, just a, it'd be hard to get into their, their planning queue. Yeah. In their production queue, I mean. <clears throat> You have Akame sword. We're waiting for a chance. We were supposed to get it last shipment, but we got one that was diverted. I have no idea what this sword is. No idea. I don't remember ordering it. I don't remember if it's a custom. Um, yeah, I have no idea what sword this is. It's an interesting uh, handling to it. Strongest sword we have would be S5 shock steel. I think this looks kind of like a wide profile too. Is it wide? I think so. It is wide. A little bit. That's a, oh my gosh. I mean, can you have this up? Yeah, it's a little wide. I am going to show this one because I keep on forgetting what a gorgeous homon this has. I'm gonna try to show it for everybody here. Mark, can you get on the picture? Jerk. <laughs> is 30V used at all? Thir five? I'm not sure what you're asking about. S30V? Oh, steel? N um, no, I'm not familiar with that steel. And so we don't use it at least. I don't know if anyone else uses it. One thing is if it's a knife steel, it probably does not make it for a good sword steel. Knife steels have different priorities. Yeah, knife engineering is very different from sword engineering because knife blades are shorter, so there's not as much lateral strain on the blade. So they can be made thicker. So yeah, Ted, your knives, um, knife steel generally does not uh, take on um, or sorry, knife steels are generally not as tough because they're because when, when you extend them out and you make them more narrow, they're going more likely to either flex too much or just straight up break. And plus, the far the longer out it is, the greater velocity it's traveling at. And so when you make impacts, then this is Joshua Williams' sword, by the way. Joshua Williams, did you want to see your blade, or did you just want to keep the keep the blade wrapped up? Anyway, the one that Joshua Williams, if you uh, it was a Choji Hamon. Oh, did we unwrap it? This one. This is the Manji one. Oh, this is the Manji one. So this is this is the same kind of blade, I believe, that that uh, Joshua Williams got, though it's a different different theme. The black and red one. Trying to find it in the shop. Which black and red one guts? The one that he's holding? That's on cloudhammerforge.com. Pretty basic sword, but what about Yamato? We do have Yamato. <laughs> this is not a basic sword. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Unless you mean Yamato from uh, like a Yamato from the Yamato school near Nara, Japan. Yeah, we'll show you a Yamato. Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry. The one on the anime wall, the red and black one. Like the Tanjiro? Tanjiro sword there? And there are the Devil May Cry swords. We have them oh, in- maybe, maybe this one, that's also red and black. That's a black Emma, yeah. Are the Eagles playing? No, they're playing tomorrow, right? I need one more. If you were to buy a sword right now, 200 to 250, what would you go for? What are you looking for in a sword, fellow? 
Uh, from, from 200 to 250, I would go with a Moritaka Vortex. More, yeah, for a cutter, Moritaka Vortex. The hammer spine is 250. Um, let's see, what else is 250, 200, 250? Hmm. Uh, these are Roni Kenshin swords. Several of the Chinese swords are around 250. Yeah, the manganese uh, Sakabato is like 225, 250. One with chain. Oh, those are the Tengen swords. Yeah, yeah hammer spine is uh is 250, a really nice sword. Yeah, we're just showing this guy. That crazy. random sword is a free sword. Ha ha, yeah, very funny, Shin Hobby. Are there CPM 3V swords? Rehu, yes, there are. They are very expensive. Um Chris Chin Hobby Toys, uh, someone already bought the Aquamarine, so uh no. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. <laughs> so Chin Hobby Toys, the 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 uh the aquamarine is no longer a choice. <laughs> Uh, let's see, geometry call that doesn't have a geometric tip. It's called a smooth sweep. Uh, probably a shobu. Oh, Crimson red tanto y'all have behind you on the rolling rack. Crimson red tanto on the rolling rack. I can't think of which that one would be. Any gold or eye-catching ones for 200, 250? Gold ones. You know, if you want a gen, we have one for 225. This gold one for 175. That got moved in here for some reason. Oh, because this is that's a that's a liquidation sword. Chin Hobby Toys, I wouldn't recommend the sword for your for what you collect. I would not recommend this one. Um, <clears throat> let's see. There's one at the top with the chain. That's also a Tengen sword. We only have one of those at this present moment. But this one, this one I think is a really nice. This is for 225. To me, if you like gold, this is one of the prettiest swords we have. Because check out that blade. I'm gonna let Mark hold it and stand back. It looks good in one camera, but not so good in the other. <laughs> this is one of our best sellers. Let's see. That, uh, that, that's called the Golden Phoenix Fellow. We do not have a griffin. Spring Crane. Actually, we sold out a Spring Crane. That's what I think it is. I need to take it off the website. We, we sold out of it. The steels couldn't play due to weather. Yes, the, ch the Chiefs played in sub-zero weather. So Spider Eyes, basically the governor of New York um, banned travel. And so that's why they canceled the Steeler game. I'm really sad about that because I think the Steelers would have actually had a chance in heavy snow. Pirate Cutlass, we do have a Pirate Cutlass. We have the Corsair sword. Not really a Cutlass. Uh, <laughs> it's a, this is sort of an amalgamation of all sorts of different blade uh, sword types. Kusanagi, are you talking about the Naruto grass cutter? We do have it. The oldest katana we have is, we actually have a 400 year old one. I just made a mistake. We do have a 400 year old one in here now, at least 400 years old. Oh, you were saying that earlier when- we Hello from Melbourne. Hey, Victoria. Melbourne, Melbourne. Is it Melbourne? I don't know how to say it. Yep, it's Melbourne. Oh, I'm sorry, Australia, Melbourne. I'm not, I'm not good with the uh, Aussie accent. That's more British. Hello from Greenland. Wow. Ooh, nice, hello Greenland. I want to go to Iceland. Me too. Just to see the volcanoes. What's cool about what Iceland? What just erupted, actually. Well, what's cool about Iceland is it's the, geograph the, the geology of it is fascinating because it's not only along the mid ocean ridge in the Atlantic, but there's also a hot in the spot. Middle there. Rack, which middle rack on the right or left? What does it look like, Kenny Downs? We're holding it right here, Kenny Downs. Is it. What does Spider Man mean? What about the Hanjiro Unukubi? Um, I, do we have that back in stock? Hanjiro? Yeah. Scott, do we have that back in stock? We've got some Unokubi uh, on the Hachi rack, but uh, what with their Hanjiro? Is Hanjiro is kind of like the hexagonal. Yeah, we've got that. Okay, so we do have it. Excuse me. And let's see. Zan gets a sword. Excuse me. Here's the Hanjiro right here. Unokubi. Do you have a heavy sword for training? Heavy, like katana or? Be careful behind you. Yeah. The 400 year old one is 1750. Usually our katana are gonna be 2000. Oh wait, sorry, it's 2000. Would you consider these to be battle worthy by a few hundred years ago? By a few hundred years ago, definitely. <laughs> okay. Even by modern standards, sure. I mean, if you're gonna sword fight, as opposed to a gun. Remember 200 years ago, uh, well actually no, that would have been the 1800s. So that's like, you know, they would have been, that's like the starting of, you know, um, industrial, uh, industrial, industrial era. So they actually had like actual mono steels. Now, if you're talking like- He wants to see the Hanway sword, by the way. You can keep talking while showing it. Which Hanway? 
the uh, Cutlass uh, or again, the Corsair, whatever this thing is. Um, but yeah, basically, medieval steel was uh, poor quality compared to modern times because it's in a pure mono steel. It has lots of slag and other impurities and inclusions in it. So any modern steel, is Kenny Downs, what does it look like? It's going to kick the crap out of any uh, antique steel, you know, before the age of, uh, of industry. Um, Okinawa. We don't have anything specifically for Okinawa. Interested in the blue dragon with engraving on it. The blue dragon with engraving on it. Jay, I cannot think of what sword that is. Blue dragon with engraving. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I think I know what you're talking about. Can you... Not that one. There is another one somewhere around here. That one. Yeah. Is this the one? Kikoku, law sword. We do have it. Any more Christian blades besides the Redeeming Light? We are going to get another version. We're going to get another few of the Unbreakable Faith, which is S7 Shock Steel. Oh, that's well. Yeah. Uh, it's a short, it's short and the scabbard or whatever you call it comes to a point instead of being round or flat. So that was over, over on that side. We can, okay, we're going to go back to it, Kenny Downs. No, it's up on the side. It's on the Hanway rack. Uh, okay. Like, Oh, it's the Gladius. He's talking about the Gladius. Oh, okay. The legacy arms. Or, yeah, legacy arms. Yes, Unbreakable is S7 Shock Steel. Hey, Rob. This guy. Yeah. This is uh, not Hanway. This is Legacy Arms. They are, they are both sold through Cass Siberia, though. Zangetsu. This is the sword that we show as, a, as an example of why you clean your swords after you touch them. Like, we could clean it off and take out those fingerprints, but we'd rather keep it this way as a... And even then, like, it's it's already kind of eaten into the finish. So even if you scrape off the rust, you're still going to see the pitting. Was that a cane sword against the wall? Yes, we do have some cane swords. <laughs> Solomon cane. Do you have other swords with engraving on the blade? We will be getting an Osoraku-style tanto. Or sorry, we will not. We will. Let me put that back there and then if you would put, put this away. It's cane sword, we can show that. Let me go while Mark is handling that. I will show you the cane sword. Which one are you all looking at? Uh, little bird dude. Oh, the shamshir? Yeah. Not shamshir, the scimitar. Scimitar, scimitar. scimitar. thank it's, you. It's worth a hard time. Yeah, old scimitar being just like the like British sort of catch-all term for any Middle Eastern sword. Yeah. That's curved. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, reductionists. The Victorians, man. I know, right? Ruin everything. Speak in British accent, John. Not happening. Zangetsu is 150. Ninja swords, we have them right here. You want my... Oh my gosh, he's doing the same thing. <laughs> it's Tuesday, isn't it? It's Tuesday, isn't it? Tuesday. Careful stabbing. Tuesday, <laughs> like, like, you know, you're chewing on something. I'm buying that Zangetsu back off. Go for it, Guts. <laughs> Any Mount Fuji theme? Yes, we do. We actually have this one, which has is blue. You can see it has Mount Fuji on it. Oh, it's on the Fuji. And this has a blue blue blade as oh, well. Oh, there it is. It's yeah. On the, on the, you can draw that one? Yeah. We do not have one from Samurai Champloo. We also have the Moritaka Blue Fuji. No, the Short Dagger Katana is left. Short Dagger Katana. Uh, here's the Blue Fuji, by the way. Uh, there are no Tanto out here. It's, we might have a couple Wakasashi, but... All the tanto are in the, in the room. Oh, that tack whack needs to go. Did it sell? Uh, maybe that's what you're talking about, the tactical. No. See you guys later. Thank you, guys. You got to do something about that threshold. Yeah. These swords are weird, are real. Yes, they are. All right. Do you have Kenshin sword? We do have the, the, the uh, Hitokiri Batosai right over here. And the Sakabaki. Kenny Downs, we'll try to find that sword for you. All right, so we've got... Hitokiri Batosai and the Sakabato. You want to show the... Yeah. He doesn't want the Sakabato. Oh, he wants the Batosai? Yeah. So Naginata. We just got some Naginata. Cane sword. Oh, um, like a walking cane sword. Yes, you can use him as a walking sword. Genji sword. I don't think we have it unless you're talking about... Is Genji sword from, from Ninja Gaiden? We, might, we have that one. What size swords for a man five foot eight? Um, probably ask just your a, a standard. You ask your sensei if you have one. Otherwise, a standard 27 and a half blade length is fine. I literally can't find the Zangetsu on the website. Guts, look for bleach. Just do a search on bleach, and it is there. 
Hey Scott, if you are, if you can go to your thing and just add, make sure we have a uh, add bleach, the black bleach sword. Also, it's not add zangetsu to the to the really, to the keywords. It's Thank you. Really, it's also not really zangetsu because it's not that giant like you know cooking knife without without a hilt, but like that would weigh over two hundred pounds anyway. Cane swords are three twenty five. They are Damascus blades. Not sure how well you can see it. S five shock steel is the toughest on the market. It might be. Yeah, toughest in terms of breakage. Uh, absolutely beautiful Hummel. Thank you, Celtic Knight. Gold plum theme. Yes, we do. Can I see the carp themed one? We have several carp themed ones. It says sold out. Says guts. Hey, um, Scott, can you add black a black to the black bleach? So guts. There's one with like a very intricate manji, and there's one with a very thick manji. We have the thick manji. We are getting the other manji in back soon. Oh my God, is that Jesus? <laughs> Do I need a permit to carry a cane sword in MD in Virginia? I don't know. Are these swords strong enough for full-on close quarter combat? Some of them are, definitely. Um, the S5s, for sure. Emma, someone wants to see Emma. Che wants to see Emma. Yes, S5 is a shock steel. Hence the S. Yeah, so guts, it's available now, black bleach. Any carp with white color? You mean, hmm, okay. Kind of silver one. We have a silvery one over here. We have a purple and silver one. We actually have a few carp theme ones here. Yeah, go ahead and show the blue. We have this as a Daisho set. You can get it as a wakazashi or katana. You wanna flip around so people can see the carp on the blade or on the saya. And you wanna draw the blade. Try to draw the blade. Is there a measurement for the sharpest blade? You could technically use HRC, but we don't really, we don't pay attention to that. Sharpest, that's actually edge retention as well. We do not have Captain Toshio Hitsugaya, I don't think, unless that's a bleach sword in which I don't know my bleach swords very well. Can we see some S5 swords? Yeah, we can do that. Here's a, yeah, we do. Um, we have some Handachi, S5 Handachi, the uh, purple carp at the bottom. Here's another carp one. The one that's sold out, are you getting more of that one? Yes, I'm not sure when they're arriving, but we are getting it. Favorite sword and shop changes. Oh, someone was asking about the gold plum. Yeah, we were just showing it. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh. Have you guys got a katana like Michonne from The Walking Dead? We might have sold one because I think there was someone on here who said he bought it. We've been, sell we've been showing it off all day. <laughs> oh, Kenny Downs, you're talking about the Osoraku. We sold out of them. Oh, yeah, those are gone. Uh, yeah, we, yeah. We, we don't, and we aren't getting another one with Horimono. We can get another one with Horimono if you want it. Price range on S5 shock swords, um, 675 and up. The ones we have in stock are 925 because they are longer, prettier Hondachi fittings. Hey, Seth in the house. Thanks for coming in, by the way. Seth bought three swords. Which three were they, by the way? I could, do you remember which ones they were? I didn't even see them. Uh, it was the, I remember the straight Tang Dao. Uh, it was a uh, Oni Damascus and that Tanto. Tanto, which Tanto? Oh, the, the, the one wooden one? Yeah, the one you're gonna. Here are the S5 get. shock steel swords right there. Those are very these long. Are S5. Okay. Yeah, those are S5. Yeah. Okay, so these are in Hanbachi fittings. And the thing about S5, it's the blades aren't really much to look at, but. Sasuke sword, we do have it in white. We are getting the black in, in uh, soon. We're getting it back. Oh. Uh, like Got some. How long does it take to ship? It depends on when you order. If you order it before I leave today, I'll ship it out tomorrow. Um, if you don't order, if you order it anytime after I leave today, you're probably looking at Wednesday because we're dealing with snow. Yep. So Kenny Dallas, it's called Osoraku, O-S-O-R-A-K-U, but we don't have it. Contact me directly at rvakatana uh, at gmail.com. And we can look at, yes, these are battle ready, by the way. All battle ready. Mason, like what is he looking for on the website? Oh, we do have Michonne's katana, but we might have sold the only one we have. Yeah, we, we were just showing it. Like, yeah, someone said they bought it. www said he's, he bought it, but I didn't hear a cha-ching, so I don't know for sure. <laughs> Tell Mark I said thank you for helping me purchase my first blade a few weeks ago. Hey, says somebody. thanks, man. Hey, glad to, glad to help out. Uh, Jay, I'm I'm leaving within probably about 20 minutes from now. Chocoto with minimalist tsuba in S5. No, we don't have an S5 Chocoto. We can try to order one, but no guarantees. We are all for buying it all, Jay. Go for it. Yep, do it. Yes, they are. Yeah, battle ready, but they are quote unquote battle ready, full tang and sharp. Remember, battle ready is a marketing term. 
So no, no two people see the word that already as like the same. So yeah, Kenny Dallas, it was called an Osoraku Wakazashi, O-S-O-R-A-K-U. And we are getting some more in. We're getting them with Black Ishime, Candy Red, um, Dark Blue as well. That Candy Red was nice. Yes, it was. Although it's kind of dark for me to call Candy Red. Did you get a confirmation from my five swords fellow? I haven't, I'm, the phones are being used. I haven't been able to double check and see. Yeah, but checking for confirmation while we're live, we might have to wait a minute. Yeah, same thing answering phones. We can't really answer phones. Yep. The only true CQC battle ready ones are the S5 shock steel ones. Those are the best H graves. I mean, you can yeah, use, best. for example, 51 CRV4. Like S5 shock steel is the toughest that you can get. But for example, these uh, 51 CRV4, they are much more durable than your average sword. They're just not as durable as S5. So these are $300 swords. We also have them in 9260, the Moritaka Vortex for $200. They're all combat ready, excellent I mean, swords. 1060 is combat ready. Yeah, even 1060. You have to remember, like people back in the day when they were using these, they were not using, until the industrial age, they were not using mono steel. They were using steels with lots of inclusions and slag and other stuff. And they were still using them for battle. And, like swords were expected to break eventually. They are not indestructible items. Mason, we are getting more Walking Dead swords in stock. In fact, Cloudhammer, we're having S5 ones made. <clears throat> if you want super durable and expensive. Uh, which one we were talking? Oh, someone was asking about anime swords. So we have them here. We have them here. And T10 steel is not weak, by the way. So Scott is pointing out correctly that T10 um, breaks at 12, well, actually 10 to 12 joules. He, I guess, rounded 11. 10 to 12 joules of impact, which is actually pretty good. The thing about T10 is, is like it's, you can kind of consider it to be a middle- Thank you, Jay. Road. You can consider it to be a middle of the road steel, but it's still very good. We'll ship it out tomorrow. And, and the great thing about T10 too, is it's not only- Good point, Forteca. It's not only quite a durable, you know, there, there are of course more durable steels out there, but it also takes on Hamon extremely well. Oh, so yeah, we won't ship it tomorrow because it's MLK Day, someone reminds us. Oh. Hopefully next week I can get two more, heck yeah. Aizen Sword from Bleach, that's this green one over here. Jason, no worries, man. <coughs> Excuse me, which sword are we looking at? Which one is Aizen? Aizen is the green, Saya, dark green, dark down, down. Yep. Aizen Sword right there. Wasn't shiny black, and I don't know how to describe it. It was dull black, like a matte, matte black. That's called Ishime. I S H I M E, Ishime. And if it was the Osoraku, we might have it. Or we don't have it. Can I order a store from there? You mean a sword? Yes. Order a store. Hmm. All right, people, we are 10 minutes from close, and I got to pull all the swords that ordered. My feet are killing me. And, and uh, Mark's feet are killing him. I've been standing like for hours now. <laughs> Black Samurai is right here. We'll show that one. Last one we're showing people, and then we are out of here. But thank you all for joining in, and we are going to head out. Thanks for coming in, guys. And uh, for those of you who I uh, helped uh, grab a sword, I'm, I'm glad I was able to help you guys. Oh, Jason, is the blue one with the star. So, yes, we can show that one. And then that's the last one we are showing. Okay, the last one for real. Here's the last one for real. <laughs> How can I order a sword? Go to rvakatana.com. rvakatana.com. Dot to com. Dot to com. Yes. Okay, we are shutting down. See you guys later. Thanks for joining, guys. And TikTok. See you guys later. Have a good one, folks. Not TikTok. YouTube. 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 And I can't get the darn phone off, so it's still going, by the way. <laughs> Smile. Oh, God. <laughs>